This was the ferry, the FBD Dunbrody, making one of its first trips in a service which could revolutionise travel in the South Wexford and North Waterford County area. The new car ferry service runs from Ballyhack in County Wexford to Passage East in County Waterford, a distance by sea of only 650 yards. But up till now, the only way of making that car journey was to motor the 40 or so miles up one side of the Barrow Estuary, over the bridge in New Ross Town, and back down the other side of the river. This way, the journey over that 650 yards of water takes only four or so minutes, and of course, a two pound ticket. As promoters claim, it can cut one hour off the journey from Rosslare Harbour to Waterford City. There had been a pedestrian ferry here since medieval times, and the family of local man Jim Roach claim that for generations they have held a royal charter to operate a ferry service here. Jim is now a skipper of the modern 20-car vessel. The project is a partnership between the FBD insurance company and local businessmen who predict tourist and other commercial benefits for both counties. For instance, it brings the Kennedy Forest Park in County Wexford to within 10 miles or so of the Waterford City population. Company Managing Director, Derek Donnelly. Well, I think it'll have a very beneficial impact uh, indeed. Uh, I believe it'll bring an awful lot of additional traffic through here, which was never here before. It will be of great benefit, particularly to people living in the Hook Peninsula, because they can now seek work in Waterford City. Uh, they will have Waterford City for shopping purposes, for social reasons, uh, for business contacts. And of course, it's giving a great shot in the arm to this lovely village of Passage East here. And what do you see then as the, the future of this enterprise? Will, you, will there be bigger ferries, trucks, um, developments like that? Uh, I think that this present ship, which can carry 20 cars, is adequately big enough for the foreseeable future. The county councils don't want us to carry heavy vehicles, and indeed the local population here, and understandably, don't want trucks around their villages. So at the moment, we're restricting ourselves to cars and light commercials only. Heavies, I, I doubt it. No, I can't foresee that. But the town of New Ross, through which the ferry traffic would otherwise drive, is nervous about loss of trade. So could the ferry cause problems? Local TD, Hugh Byrne. Yes, the traffic would have had to go through New Ross, and I think that that's the operative word, because as I know it, that the traffic always just did that, just go through New Ross. There's no money spent. And that New Ross didn't hold them, because I felt that they hadn't the amenities. And I don't think that it will be any disadvantage to New Ross. In fact, I'd say it would be an advantage, if any, because if this area becomes more popular and we can attract more tourists, we'll have more money to spend, and the obvious place to spend it will be in New Ross town.